Hello, friends. It's the Carnivore Rabbi here, as always, to meet, pray, and love. As you can see, I'm in the airport and uh, returning from vacation. And uh, it was actually a working vacation. My wife, who's also a rabbi, conducted a bat mitzvah, which is a Jewish coming-of-age ceremony, and it was absolutely wonderful. But I got a lot of great lessons from this trip. This was the first kind of big trip I've done as a real strict carnivore and learned a lot and experienced a lot. So the first thing that I think is quite important as a carnivore, especially if you're traveling with other people and there's some public events and so forth, is be totally open about the carnivore diet. Now, this comes with time. I've been doing this for several years now, although this is the first big trip with a lot of other people. Be totally open. And that makes conversation easier. It makes things less awkward. And people just get used to it. Now, there was one, one vegetarian on the trip, so that was a little awkward. But you, unless they're moral virtue signaling all the time, you can laugh about it and get along fine. So that was one thing, and it really worked well. People were accommodating, people understood. When, it, when I didn't have any of the desserts or the mango drinks, and it was totally fine. And it actually felt great, felt more disciplined. And I think people sometimes have a kind of secret admiration for people who can do really disciplined things that they feel they can't. Now, I think all people are capable of it, but some people feel they can't. Be open, be clear. Second thing is enjoy the meals that work. Now, really interestingly, we had one steak meal. It was sirloin, I believe. No, no it, was, it was ribs because there were bones in it. And it was okay. The steak was okay, but I learned something. To me, steak is like pizza. It's always good. Some are better than others, but it always tastes fine. But the steak was very lean, leaner than probably I've ever had. And I asked why, and somebody who had taken a tour of a farm said that farms in this place are often, uh, they call the cows Ozembic cows. That's the new nickname because they are very lean. Now, why are they so lean? Because it's very hot. And the way the cows protect themselves in the heat is they just don't consume as much or they sweat it out. I don't, I don't know the science here, but the cows, and I, I noticed this driving, the cows were exceptionally lean. And uh, they told me it was because of the heat. And the cows are all grass-fed, which is wonderful. I felt good about that. But the meat was not as fatty as I'm used to and that I enjoy. And then the problem was they just had margarine. They didn't have real butter at this meal, so I lost out on the fat, but that's okay. You gotta, that's the third point. You gotta be flexible. You gotta be flexible. You can't be, I, I'm pretty strict carnivore. I'm basically lion diet when I'm at home. But here they had some incredibly fresh fish so I had a little fish, not a lot, and there was some sauce with it, and I tried to minimize the sauce, but I had some fresh fish, and it was delicious. I hadn't lost my taste for fish. I had a little chicken. Again, I don't typically eat chicken. I had a couple of cold cuts. Again, not something I usually do, but unless you are like Michaela Peterson and you cannot have any deviation, which I understand people like that and have the utmost respect, if you can handle a little deviation when you're traveling, it helps to be a little bit flexible. Fourth thing I learned is I actually felt tremendous gratitude for the carnivore way of eating. We were supposed to leave yesterday from this airport, spend a long time at this airport. Our flight was canceled. It was a big flight too. There were a lot of, there were a lot of teens on the flight. I think there were some mission trips and there were some really angry parents and there was almost upheaval because the reason for the cancellation was really dumb and, and un unnecessary, but get it, that's a whole nother topic. I think carnivore helped me stay cool. It was really, I've had this happen before, and I would usually get very tense, very angry. My wife got a little angry. We got the kids and the dog at home and so forth. But I think one of the beautiful things about carnivore is you get this carnivore calm, a calm, peaceful state of mind. You deal with reality as it comes. and. That doesn't mean you don't have feelings, you don't get angry, but you're able to manage them better. And I really felt that uh, just yesterday at the airport. It was not fun, but it ended up being fine. And in fact, the airline put us up at a hotel, not a very nice hotel, but it was fine. And the food was spectacular. I had the best steak that I had on the whole trip at this hotel. What can you do? Sometimes you find beauty in unexpected places. Fifth thing, 
and this is just personal, is just have a little chuckle at all the distractions and unhealthy foods around. At the airport, they had a whole booth about the wonderful blue zones of life. And I went into the shop. They're selling merchandise. It's become a huge brand, this uh, Blue Zones. And one of, the, one of the lessons in the Blue Zones is slant plant. You should be eating lots of plant foods. And I thought to myself, how can people be giving this advice and how can people believe, uh, believe it? And it's all slick marketing. And I am grateful that we have found this way of eating, which truly brings joy and simplicity and health. And uh, I felt that on this trip, and I hope each of you feels it as well. See you next time.